Hey, what's up YouTube? Andrew here. Today I'm going to revisit the HP Pavilion Mini and show you what components are upgradable. To remove the cover, you want to remove those three Phillips screws on the bottom and then lift up gently. The first component we have here is our hard drive. For the best performance, I would recommend upgrading to a solid state drive. To remove your hard drive, you want to remove these four black Phillips screws. Next up, to remove your hard drive from the hard drive caddy, you want to remove these four silver Phillips screws and then remove your SATA cable. There are two ways to set up your new drive. You can either clone your old hard disk or start up with a fresh install. Now for those of you that are trying to upgrade your hard drive on the HP Stream Mini, you'll need this SATA cable. I don't know if you can purchase this cable, but I'll keep you guys updated. Now if you don't feel like upgrading your hard drive, you can also use the M.2 SSD form factor right here. Next up you got your Broadcom 80211 PCI Express wireless card, which is also upgradable. Moving along to RAM now. All three variants of the HP Mini desktops accept up to 16GB of RAM. I'll put a link in the description for more details. To access your processor, you want to remove these three screws from the fan module. After you remove those three screws, just lift up gently on the fan module and put it aside. And now you'll see the heat sink. To remove the heat sink, there are four Phillips screws you want to remove. Now lift up on the heat sink and carefully put it aside since there is thermal paste on the bottom. And there goes your Intel 3558U. This CPU looks soldered on board, so don't expect to upgrade it. In the future, if you have thermal issues, just simply open up the CPU and reapply the thermal paste. So there you have it. This was just a quick video on the internal components on the all-new HP Pavilion Mini desktops. To my surprise, this mini desktop is highly upgradable, unlike the new Mac Mini. Alright guys, this wraps it up on the internal components of the all-new HP Pavilion Mini desktops. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.